Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about web scraping tool. And again, all of these tools have now moved to AI and now every single web scraping tool have moved into an AI based or AI powered tools. And today we're going to talk about a tool called as browser act. And I have been exploring quite a lot of different web scraping tool like browser use, octo parsers and sky one. All these tools are pretty amazing in terms of scraping the web and you don't even have to do a lot of different operation in order to scrape the web page. But now the browser act has gone a level further in order to extract the data without you writing even a single line of code. So there is no code required whatsoever. You can automate and you can scrape all all the data from any website which is quite amazing now this is the tool that we are going to talk about and i'm not going to jump directly into the features that the browser act has got but i'm going to just show you some of the feature that any web scraping tool should have something like this as you can see so basically if you take any web scraping tool you should extract the page without you giving quite a lot of different information but you should obtain all the information required from the page which is mainly used for the ai agent rag operation and any other operation which the large language model uses these days so in order for that to happen you need to extract the page right from the browser and that's what a web scraping a good web scraping tool should do without doing a lot of different DOM object to be given directly into the AI agent. So ex web page extraction is the first important that to happen. And then you should not be writing quite a lot of different code to make the web page extraction. And that is one of the most fundamental thing that any web scraper should have. And this is also something important, just keep a note on that, right? And then you need to have a custom workflow that so that you can just tell that these are things that to happen. If you have these kind of features, then go to this particular page. And if you don't have these features, then go and choose this particular workflow to perform these operations. So you should have an ability to manage the workflow, like how it has to happen and without you writing any code as well. So this is another fundamental thing that any web scraper should have with the power of AI these days. So that is one more thing that any web scraper should have. And then you should also have the automatic captcha handling because if you use any of the web scraper, then you will be noticing that sometimes you get an web, uh, get the captcha, then you will be uh, you know, manually going and controlling the particular captcha in the page and seeing that if that particular captcha is resolved. So you should not be having all those problem like babysitting work while you do this web page extractions or data extraction. So those things should be handled automatically. And that is another, another basic thing that a web scraper should have which is also fundamental. And then residential IPs are also important. So if I'm working in New Zealand, then I should have an IP very specific to this country so that I don't really have any geo restrictions so that I can just bypass the geo restrictions and things. So residential IP is another important part of any web scraper. So I think that should be a fundamental thing as well. Finally, you will have all of these operations to be worked out in the AI agent and multi-agent systems. And because the agent is evolving, the web scraper should have these features. And having all these features will Will make a better web scraping tool and that's exactly what the browser act does so that is what we are going to talk about so as you can see here browser act has got so many features pretty much like whatever i just covered like you don't even have to create any workflow with the type of code that you write all these days using some extension that you add in the chrome plugin and then go and write all the workflow you don't even have to do all of these just drag and drop things and then you can create the workflow using like a gui fashion that is one of the most important thing that you can do using this browser act and then you don't even have to write even a single line of code that while you do it and also it's going to have automatic ad blocking and clean execution which is also amazing so that you don't really see any unnecessary ad which is going to be part of your data which is going to be trained by your rag or any other ai agent so those things are going to be automatically cleaned for you by the browser act and then you also have got the real time and persistent data access for any of the data that you're working with and you also have the global residential ip networks and automated verification bypass like captcha for that matter so all of these are available as a part of the browser act today if you go and purchase it but if you wanted to see what are their other roadmaps you can see that they have got a list of roadmap which is even more mind-blowing and i'm not going to talk about the roadmaps until they are completely delivered but you can see that this is already a wide extensive list of roadmap they have got and in this particular video i'm going to quickly show you a demonstration on how the browser act can actually do a workflow for you by extracting the data out and you can also perform all the operations without you writing even a single line of code. So I have already signed up Browser Act. If you sign up today, you are going to get 
thousand credit every single day for free of cost so you don't even have to pay you will you will get a thousand credit every single day which is amazing but if you're going to purchase it you can see that there is going to be a 50 percentage off on your first purchase which is also awesome so i have created a quite a lot of different agents here while i was testing this particular agent for for week already and one thing which i have noticed that this particular agent is very talented or something like that because it's not really giving up until it finishes its task which is what i have really seen i'm going to take a very very super simple example this time and i will show you how you can create an agent and how you can extract the data then i'm going to go to a complex operation where it's going to go and get the list of products from a, a famous website in new zealand and then it's going to give you everything in a json format relentlessly working for you without you doing anything over there and then we'll also talk about the workflows and stuff that is what we are going to be covering this particular video well as i said i'm going to go and create a simple agent over here i'm going to call this as an uh, ea app extractor all right so this is going to just extract the uh, data for me from the page and i'm going to just create it see this is very very super simple uh, agent that i have uh, given over here but now you can also build this particular agent to give even more perfect instruction for the agent so that you can do what you are actually looking for so i'm going to give some instructions over here that are also going to bring even more agent tooling supports like mcp server for that matter but right now they don't have it but it is coming pretty soon i'm going to say you are an expert agent to extract the uh, information from a given page you need to parse the data from the web page and give a json data for the extracted data this is the instruction that i have given over here and i'm just gonna publish this as a new version that's all right so i'm using the gpt 401 version over here and the agent settings is not quite a lot as well i'm just gonna set everything default and the browser settings is going to be on the us but you can change uh, the region based on your country if you really wanted to right and now i'm gonna go to the run mode over here and i'm gonna say go and extract all the employee information from the page and i'm gonna say http colon ea app dot sami dot com in the employee list page right i'm just going to give just this so basically the page which i'm talking about is going to be the employee app which has got the list of employees in the employee list and you see that how many employees that i have got over here i want all of these data in a json format and i'm just gonna run this over here the moment i run this it is going to do all this uh, geo inferencing and also it's going to take care of opening a machine for you uh, like a virtual machine it's going to open a browser for you and i can see that all the initializations are going to happen and you're going to see a live browser output over here look at that it has already opened this particular website and now it's going to go to the employee list for me over there if everything works fine there we go and now what it's going to do is it's going to identify all the different elements that we have in this particular page uh, pretty much like browser use if you have worked before that does exactly the same thing as well but this thing not just do a thing that you can do with a playwright uh, like how the browser use does but over here because you're writing no code and everything is going to be done for you based on the natural language you can see that it is going to do everything magically things for you so it has found all the different page elements for me over here and now you see that the step over here brings up that extract all the employee entries like name salary duration worked grade and employee uh, from the current page using the structured extractions and prepare to write them in a result.json file so this is going to create everything for me and in the meantime anytime if you want to interrupt you can just hover on this particular page and if you click it it is just going to stop the execution and you can resume from there if you really wanted to. So you can do all of these things if you really wanted to, but I don't think it is required for you because you wanted everything to happen autonomously. And that's the reason why you are there. But in some cases, if you want to enter the username and password, you're not going to let the agent to do it. You're not going to pass those sensitive information. Rather, the operation should be taken care by you as a human so that you should be on the loop while these operations are going to happen now i think it has already completed extraction of the data and we have got a result.json file over here i'm just going to download that over here and there's a pop-up blocker 
and we have got this result.json. If I'm just gonna show you that particular JSON over here, you can see that it is the complete JSON that we have got as you can see. So this is the complete employee list, list that we have got until this particular person as you can see over here. So that is the uh, last employee that we have got. So it is gonna show you all the information. See that, that is the employee. So I can also interact in this particular page if I wanted to. So you can see that it's consuming a 210 credit for now while it is doing all this operation, which is fine, right? So it is working. So this is one of the simplest example that I have got in order to perform these operations. But what if I wanted to create an agent which is going to do something like uh, like extracting the entire computer information from a, a page. So this is the agent that I have created over here where it is gonna say get all the products from the PB Tech New Zealand website and get the list of all the product user is asking. So I'm not really telling which product, like I'm not hard coding anything over there. I'm just saying get the products from that particular website which user is asking, right? And now I'm going to run this particular uh, agent and I will show you how that actually works. Now I'm gonna go to the PB Tech get all computers uh, agent over here and I'm gonna ask uh, here saying get all the gaming computers from the PB Tech website. And the moment I send this particular request over here, you'll see that the website is gonna open pretty much like how we did for the employee app. And it's gonna go and show me that, do you want to enter into the New Zealand website? So it's automatically clicking that for me. So it's automatically handle the, uh, handling the pop-up windows. And now the aim of this particular, uh, particular prompt or the agent is to go and get all the gaming machine. So now you see that it's automatically going to the uh, machine section, which is the laptop sections over here. And now it is going to go and find the laptops, which are under the category of gaming laptops. See that now it has found all the gaming laptops for me. And now it is extracting all the informations from that particular site by reading all the information. So it is automatically scrolling and going to the next page uh, automatically. And the moment it goes to the next page, you see that now we have hit into the CAPTCHA problem because now we are not a human. So automatically the system is handling the CAPTCHA for me and now it is moving forward to the next page and now it's again starting to do the extraction for me. This is quite amazing, right? So everything is being taken care of for me, going through all the page one by one and getting all the informations for me. And once it found the extraction of the laptop, it's going to the machine, which is the desktop machines, and it has finally found the complete uh, computer, uh, computer information, and it has got the result.json file as well. And once I open this result.json over here, you will see the complete result uh, of all the machines that we have got on that particular website. So I have actually skipped a few of the uh, machines. I went last page directly. That's the reason why you are seeing just few of the computers over here. But at least you can see that it is just extracting the relevant information, which is actually required for a RAG system to perform the operation. So you can see that everything is working as expected over here. And now what I'm gonna go and do is, I'm gonna go and quickly show you the workflow operation that you can actually create from the browser act. So I'm gonna show you the workflow which I have already created instead of me creating it again. So if I'm gonna go and uh, just go and click this particular workflow here. I'll show you what I have done actually. So I have created this workflow in such a way that I'm gonna pass the input parameter where I'm gonna enter the username and password for this particular uh, application over here. So this is the credential that I have passed and then I'm starting the browser which is on the uh, US website. And then I'm saying go and visit this particular page for me over here. And then I'm also gonna say, click the employee list uh, element or link over there and then extract the data, which is nothing but getting all the employee details for me. Uh, and once you get it, you just create a JSON format of the output. So whatever that I've just gave as a prompt, you can also control it as a workflow over here. So this is something like a GUI based format that you can do. And anytime, if you think that there needs few more uh, few more tasks that you need to add or the workflow that you need to add, you can go and click the plus symbol over there and you can choose what that you wanted to do. For instance, maybe you think that the site is always quite slow or maybe there is uh, a lot of data that you need to scroll down a, a bit which, is, which the agent is unfortunately not scrolling. Then you can also say scroll the page. Uh, maybe you can say that uh, go 
to the last section uh, like this and then you can keep continuing and you can also stop the task if you think so uh, if there is an error happens over there or you can just ignore this node and continue the execution if you think that is still fine you don't have to go until the end of this particular workflow or the page so those are things that you can create as well in the workflow manager over here this is even more awesome so these are the features that the browser act has got for you to do the better web scraping and i think this browser act is really cool because it checks all the boxes as you can see over here and it does perfectly exactly what we as a data mining person is looking for a data engineer is looking for to get the web page data out extracted which can be used for our ai agents for training and also for getting the relevant information so hope you like this particular tool and i'm sure you will be quite excited to use this tool without you writing even a single line of code like any non-engineer person can do this like you don't really have to write any playwright code or something like that everything is going to be taken care from this particular browser act itself so that's it guys that's all about the browser act tool for us today and if you really like this tool just let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll discuss more about this tool if you really like to once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one